Today we're driving 500 miles south to the Appalachian Mountains in beautiful West Virginia to ride the Durban Rocket Steam Train. Not only do we get to ride on this amazing tourist train, we have actually rented the last caboose as our very own personal camper, Castaway Caboose. Well, all we have to do is unload the minivan. We've got our suitcases, the keys to our caboose, and it's time to camp. We're gonna be in the mountains for two days, so we figured we'd bring our mountain bike with us. While I finished loading our gear, the fireman was hard at work oiling the engine for our trip into the Allegheny Mountains. The fireman's there right now, shoveling the coal in. The final passengers boarded the train, and then we were off. Riding in the open air platform car is fine for regular passengers, but I much prefer the view from my private camper caboose. I was excited as we reached the end of the line where we would be cast away here at the Heavener Picnic Grove. Well that's it, we are officially the castaway caboose. Before the train left us, we asked our engineer why people ride on this tourist railroad. Of course they come to ride a, a small railroad in the wilderness. It seems to have a draw, it seems to have something in the American public psyche. And people can't get it out and get, get enough of it. We operate three trains. And for example, today, they all three of them full to capacity. Then the train left us for two days of caboose camping. Welcome to our home on the rails. We've got everything. We've got a shower, the bathroom. Uh, we've got uh, sitting areas. It's great to uh, hang out there while you're cruising down the rail. Over here, we have our little kitchenette. We've got the stove, the sink. Over here, we have the TV and the place where you hang out, have your little bit of dinner. And don't forget, they've got the uh, coffee percolator right here because we're going to need lots of joe. Camping next to the Greenbrier River presented many outdoor activities. A good way to pass the time in the mountains is to do a little fishing. There's a wide variety of fish in the river. Unfortunately, we didn't catch any. Hey, they've got some great trails. Mountain biking is a great way to see the beautiful West Virginia scenery. What's camping without a little cooking out? After barbecue, as night fell, it was time to hang out by the fire. With the sound of the train approaching, our last day came all too soon. Looks like the caboose and the train are here to pick us up. It's time to go home. I'm Jam and Jim for Adventure Now. If you want to find out more about this train, go to mountainrail.com for more. <laughs>